Let's do this. Let go. Let go, let go, let go. Oh, wow, I look so short. Hey, guys, what's up? And welcome back to... What am I doing? What channel is this? This is Ashley's Roses. Okay. Hey, guys, what's up? And welcome back to my channel. If you are new, hi, my name is Ashley, and welcome to Ashley's Roses. Now, before I begin my video, I must caution you. If any of you guys are uncomfortable with hearing anything about diabetes or all of the treatment plans that are involved with diabetes, um, I'm going to kindly ask you to exit out of this video um, just because I know people are uncomfortable with hearing about this subject. So if you're uncomfortable with learning about diabetes or any of the things that are involved with that, um, I'm going to kindly ask you to leave. I'm sorry, love you guys, but I don't want to cause any problems. All right, continuing on with the video. Now, if you guys see me looking down at my phone, the way I am now, um, that's because my notes are on my phone. I was diagnosed with cystic fibrosis related diabetes in, I believe, late 2011. At that time, my treatment plan was very light. I checked my blood sugars before my meal and two hours after each meal and I had a small amount of insulin that I took at night and I took my insulin with syringes which are also known as needles I was not on a pump but my cystic fibrosis related diabetes did not intensify until the summer of 2015 at that time I had to begin taking more insulin with my meals that included the insulin that I had previously taken at nighttime. I still continued to check my blood sugar with my meals before and after and I was not on a pump I still took my insulin with syringes but after saying all that you're probably saying so basically you have diabetes yes and no see cystic fibrosis related diabetes is different it's a unique diabetes it's not like type 1 where you're born with it and your pancreas is not working well and it's not like type 2 where it comes in late later life due to either obesity or um, not proper food diet plans I guess you could say um, cystic fibrosis related diabetes is caused by all of the scarring that has formed on the pancreas and the scarring is caused by the mucus and you might be thinking okay so it scars your pancreas how does that make it worse well you know when you get a scar on your leg or your arm or something like that the scar it's permanent you still see it there but when there are scars on your different organs, it's almost like as soon as the scar appears, that spot that the scar has appeared, that part of your organ no longer works. So my pancreas is so scarred and clogged with mucus that insulin from the body, it can't come out of the pancreas anymore and it needs a little bit of help by using insulin. So that does cause my blood sugars to go up and down, basically just like someone else with actual diabetes. Now the way that they test us to see if we have cystic fibrosis related diabetes is from a young age, almost, almost every year, to have the glucose tolerance test. Basically what that is, it's an 8 hour fast and then you have to drink this really sugary drink and a test it to see if your blood sugars go sky high or if your body is able to maintain it. And I did that for several years and then they're like, okay, we need to repeat this. And after one time I did it and come to find out I had cystic fibrosis related diabetes. So they usually catch it about in your your late teens, like when you're a tween or a teen, that's usually when they start to diagnose people with cystic fibrosis related diabetes. I don't know if this goes for people with regular diabetes, but a little fun fact, for those with cystic fibrosis related diabetes, 
um, when we're on insulin, when we have to take an antibiotic or a steroid to help us get over um, a cold or just something that's going on with the lungs, the blood sugars will tend to go high. So then we have to balance out our blood sugars with insulin. But from having cystic fibrosis related diabetes, you tend to work side by side with your doctors to make sure that your health is good and that your blood sugars stay um, in the correct zone. And sometimes it can get hard, sometimes your blood sugars can go wacky. I know for me, my blood sugars go wacky at times. But I think it's good that they catch it early, especially like if you're a teenager. You still have time to fit it into a routine and get used to it and learn how to use all of your medications properly. I still, since 2015, I still have that same amount of intensity with all the insulin that I have to take and I am not on a pump, still I am not on a pump. I don't think I want to be put on a pump, but I do take um, syringes and needles and all that. I'm not showing those on the screen. Um, anytime when I talk about medication, more times than not, I will not show it to you because for people with cystic fibrosis, we're all very different and we all have different medications that we take. So I don't want to show you guys what I'm using and if you meet someone else who has cystic fibrosis, I don't want it to be pre-assumed that they take the same as me because sometimes they might, sometimes they won't take the same medication as I do because we're all different. I really hope I explained this well, <laughs> um, but I thought it was important for you guys to understand what cystic fibrosis related diabetes is. Thank you so much for watching today's video. Um, if you have any questions or anything that was not clear to you guys in today's video, please comment that below and I'll be happy to answer it to the best of my abilities. <laughs> please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and feel free to follow any of my social media and I'll see you guys next week. Bye!